And time to go back to work. Missouri Governor Mike Parson announcing that his state will become one of the growing list to end the extra $300 in federal unemployment benefits. Governor Parson joins me now. Governor, great to see you. So is taking, uh, kind of moving on from what Carl Rove was talking about, is the worker shortage a result of not enough immigrant workers or the perverse incentive of unemployment that is paying people to stay off the job? Well, first of all, I don't know what Schumer study he's looking at, but evidently it's full of blank pages. But the one thing I will tell you in this state, we've just got about 225,000 people uh, job openings in our state. We are first in the United States for small business wage growth, which means we are paying something. But at the end of the day, you just got people are not coming back to work because of the supplements that we're getting from the federal government. And we just got to put an end to that. Look, the demand's out there. We're in the top 10 right now in, in the United States for site selection, which people are wanting to come to our state and put businesses in there. But you can't get employees to work in all sectors of our economy, all the way from, from whether it's the restaurant industry to manufacturing, it, is a real issue in this state. And it's not just here, it's all over the country. But the federal subsidies have got to stop. They were only meant to be temporary, not forever. And I think that's the problem this is creating. Uh, Governor, it, it would seem like in your position it might be a risk to reject uh, federal money that is offered uh, to your state, free money coming in from the federal government. So what drove this decision in addition, just some of the personal stories you've heard from businesses? Yeah, I, you know what, I get the money coming down from the federal level and the risk involved, but at, at some point it's the right thing to do. People expect in this country, in this state, to go to work. We expect people to go to work every day and to earn a living. That's what the American dream is all about. And you can't do that by sitting at home and living off the federal government. That's why we have to have our workforce back in place, why we can grow, and why our economy can grow, and why the next generations can see hope into what real life is all about instead of this, you know, just an inflated life of living off the government. Your unemployment rate in the state, though, for the most recent data available for the month of March, it was 4.2 percent when the federal unemployment rate was 6 percent. Well, I think that's exactly because what we've been doing. It was the framework we put in before, even when, under the Trump administration, when we were following suit with putting priorities on workforce development and infrastructure. Those things truly pay off, and we've kept that alive here in this state, even in the middle of a crisis, in the middle of a pandemic. We've been able to keep people back to work as much as we can, but we still got to do more, and you cannot do that if the federal government is subsidizing people to stay at home. Do you need to implement, like Montana, a one-time return to work bonus? You know, I don't think so. I, I, I don't think so. I don't think that's the right thing to do in my state. I think that's, again, for the private sector to do that. I think when government starts doing that, I think that's a slippery slope that you go down. I think the private industry are paying people now bonuses to come to work and bring back in the workforce, and I think that is the right place for that to be paid. I don't know if this government's role to pay people to go to work. What about businesses coming into the state? You said that you were uh, kind of leading the nation in terms of the uh, many states in site selection. Talk about some of the businesses that are eager to flee higher tax states. And, and you know which ones well, I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, you know, it's great that we have Illinois set beside us because we've got people looking over there every day coming to Missouri after they've been shut down and locked down with all the restrictions. When you see all that's happened across the nation, all of these states that have been locked down with heavy restrictions, businesses are looking to go somewhere else because they can't afford to be shut down again and being able to survive. And that goes from big businesses to little businesses. And that's why we've been open all along with a balanced approach in this state and why we're doing everything we can to prepare prepare for the workforce, but people truly want to come to a state in the Midwest when it comes to distribution, when it comes to infrastructure, and to have the workforce in place. But you got to have people in the workforce to be able to make sure people come to your state. Governor Parson, great to see you. Mike Parson, take care. We'll see you soon. All right. Thank you very much.